I need you to commit this to memory. Why can something flap? Well, flapping occurs when things are going up and down, up and down, up and down. Now, when we think about flapping, I think about physical interfaces and why might those flap? This is a page on a different subject, but why might a physical interface flap? Failing hardware, a bad transceiver. Maybe, um, you know, I've got a fiber optic link and it's just not getting the right signal where it needs to go and it's just enough to occasionally go up, but then it falls back down. That's that's flapping for you. Why might a GRE tunnel flap? Your routing protocols are flapping, causing the route to the tunnel destination to be added and removed. Because if you can't reach the tunnel destination, then the GRE tunnel goes down. Maybe your dynamic routing protocol reinstalls it and then you can get there and vice versa. So you have that added dependency of being able to reach the tunnel destination. Recursive routing, ooh, recursive. Recursion is a process of saying, okay, to get there, I'm gonna tell you to get to here. And to get here, I need another route that'll help you get there. For instance, uh, you might've seen my video on the fact that your next hop IP address of a static route could point to something that's not directly connected. So you could point to maybe two or three subnets away. But then you'd need another route that would help you reach that route two or three subnets away. If you built a route for that, that would be route recursion. So you then say, go here, and how do I get there? Oh, I look here, and how do I get there? Look here. Recursion is not something that I like to build into a configuration for routing. Recursion is useful in programming, but less desirable when it comes to routing. And, and generally speaking, I don't run into it too often, okay? So recursive routing, the router is trying to route to the tunnel destination using the tunnel. Whoa, okay. So bear that in mind. You wouldn't want to think, but for instance, let's say you had tunnel zero and you had an IP route to the destination IP address using tunnel zero. That would be bad. So take heed of these two possible causes of GRE flapping.